Hello, hello, hello. We are back. Guys, this is the last time you're going to see me. I stream every day, Monday through Thursday, 8.15 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you hit that subscribe. It is hard finding crypto individuals like yourself. There is a reason you clicked on this video. Please consider joining the Ganja Goons gang. Hit that subscribe, smoke that like button, and you know you want to learn about crypto. I already see the crew in here, guys. We're going to get right on to the market things have happened and it, there has been a small shakeup little bit of a reversal um but i'm quite happy with where we currently stand so let me get right into it here give me one second i'm gonna make some changes here let me see fill fill me in no, 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 no. Just give me one. I'm making myself big for you guys so you actually see a little bit more of me. I've heard it's hard uh, focusing in. <laughs> um, let me see. Make myself smaller. Maybe right about here. All right, cool. Update layout. All right, cool. Hello, hello, hello. How are things? I know you missed me. I missed you too. Um, so as I was saying, things have happened, but but really not too much. Not too much. We've had a great upswing and we've had a consolidation round. So um, as you guys know, BTC definitely tested the uh, 37K going into 38K today, almost 37,900 uh, we were looking at. And we jackknifed down little bit of consolidation happening and we're going back up but what i want you guys to focus in on which is always what i start off every single stream with is that global crypto market cap and guys there was a point where we were at 1.01 trillion today as we're streaming even though btc is at 36.6 the global crypto market cap compared to yesterday is exactly the same we always do this at the same exact time every day. 1.35 trillion is still a positive day. We are still greedy. We continue getting this greed vibe. So I'm continuing this bullish uh, sentiment even uh, during this consolidation phase. But it is an important consolidation phase because we need to bounce back up in order to continue that bullish sentiment. And we are going to talk about this during the charts, right? That's the main thing. Uh, let me just check in with the chat here. I see you guys popping off. Yo, Wesley, what's going on? Nice to see you, buddy. Yo, Big Teddy, triple G's, triple G's indeed. FJB TBA, you found me on X. That is me. You, that is me um triple g's yo yo teddy and the goons nw what's going on sir yo what's going on what's going on teddy long time bro hope all is well all is well uh just progressing trying to you know find my path in this world of crypto i also started a new channel check it out uh wesley um explore the weird it's in my channel description you can um fill yourself in we've we've done a lot FTT on fire. Oh, dude, you know what's greedy? That hair, man. Dude, you think I should get a haircut? What do you What do you think? You think I need a haircut? I know. I kind of like it long. I like to like you know like really, uh, just 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 show that volume because it's just like a lot. I'm already pretty crazy, you know. Like, there's got to be something crazier about me, right? What do you think? All right, I got to put out a poll or something. FTT on fire, folks. I'll check it out. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, Wesley, that will be good. How's everything else going with you? I've seen some good posts on that Insta, so I can only imagine. Um, so we're going to continue on here from the market to the heat map. I know I was expecting that 52%, and you guys are going to kill me. Teddy, you said the dominance was going to go down. Well, I did not expect blackrock to file an etf in uh delaware today so the dominance did uh we got some money back in to ethereum but what's important is btc dominance did not change 
BTC dominance is still 51%. The money that came into ETH is, I believe, new money coming in uh, in order to hold that potential ETF approval. So now we know, hey, BTC has uh, spot ETF approval. That's, you know, we're uh, assuming it's going to happen. And now Ethereum as well. The timing is going to be super important. A lot of analysts predicting BTC approval January, right? Um my cell phone fell. Sorry. <laughs> uh, in January, um, and that's what is uh, key there. So the other main takeaway for me is really watching the dominance on the other charts. And you guys know we've been tracking now the dominance for the top five. So USDT six percent. It's fine. BNB has fallen before three percent. It's continuing to monitor it because as this market goes up i do expect bnb's price to go up but i'm not sure if that dominance will continue uh to grow because you have chains like solana that are just dominating and and solana is primed so well that potentially if the utility is spun the right way and the right things happen for solana especially with how much more it can do there could be a potential guys that we are looking at a market where uh, Solana, XRP, BNB um, are good. I can't even consider Solana layer two. Solana is a real blockchain, actually. So, uh, and so is XRP. But good alternatives to Ethereum, um, and BNB is a layer two on Ethereum. So, at some point, I do expect BNB uh, to also increase in transactions. It has the most volume, so it only makes sense. You looking like Goku with that long hair? I am George is an advisor of Wag. Oh, my God. Is he? I love this. I love this. So George is going to show Wag me now. So we got Scott Herman. We got our boy. Wait, by the way, goons, you guys know more about this. What is going on with MMAI? Can you guys fill me in on some of this drama? I've been trying to follow it on X and uh, Twitter, but it's like so confusing. So now they um, they've stopped a bunch of influencers or they've taking them off payroll or something. It sound it sound kind of crazy, but I'm glad to hear this. F, um, FJB TV, you know, FJB TV. Are you FJ crypto? You sound F Joe crypto. You sound so familiar now. It's all coming back to me. Oh, Lordy. What do you mean? Oh, Lordy. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. So I do want to continue on, guys. Um, as you guys know, we are big fans of Chainlink. Chainlink is having the best day today. Another 15%. Uh, gain and it's going to be super important because we're like hey teddy when's consolidation going to happen when do i need to take profits you should be taking profits all the time uh regardless if you're not in it for the long run then you're in it to lose it buddy so (laughs) that is one thing that is evident so know your entry point know your exit point if your entry point for chain link was you know two three weeks ago you should be taking profits around now unless you're in it for the long haul we know chain links max uh, price during the bull run was close to fifty dollars, right? So right around fifty dollars. So that'd be a five x from where we are. When you compare this to almost any other um, chart out here, it's pretty much the same. You basically need a five x almost with any token you're investing in uh, in the top one hundred one hundred when it comes to the bull run. So it's very rare. Um, you're going to find a point unless it's BTC or Ethereum. I'm sure a 5X is not plausible there. It'd be like a 2X during the bull run or maybe close to a 3X. But Chainlink gives me that op- optimism. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good word. That gives me that optimism that it can happen. What's going on? F Joe, there it is. You are F Joe. I knew it. I was like, dude, you sound so familiar. And then I checked out your uh Twitter, you know, I get you got to stock a little. Um, got to know my goon gang, bro. MMAI is a mess, is it? Is it? So what happened? What is the? Give me a brief like rundown so I can figure it out. Usually, Red Sox is the one filling me in, but you know, uh, he's a uh, very uh, he's made it all back with the crow. He's got that Toyota Corolla and he's driving off. That's basically what's happened. <laughs> um, so biggest gainer for me, uh today ordinals yet again and i know uh wadi had mentioned ordinals on his uh crypto 
crypto um, live stream as well. Guys, we were looking just last week at only $5. And from $5, you're now at $20. This is, this is amazing. This is a true Forex right here, right? I am taking profits if I, at this point. I'm at least getting my initials back. Let the rest ride, right? This is the thing that you have to keep in mind. Now, if you just got into it, why? Why would you do that to yourself? Wait, it looks like a brand new day started, so my entire chart just uh, updated. Let me just quickly look. Okay, Casper is up as well. 20% amazing. Great to see. Blur. Oh, it's been so long. Do people even use Blur? Influence, all fighting, and flip-flopping. Oh, really? Influencers are all finding pulled liquidity with no notice again. Oh, wow. They pulled L LP. How much LP did they pull? How much LP was even in there in the first place? How much? Well, uh, I mean, I don't know too much. I haven't been keeping up with MMAI, but I was never. Uh, I'm done with token chilling, bros. You guys know after all this, my easiest way is looking at BTC, Ethereum and top 100 because, man, it'd be hard out there, boys, in this DeFi space. Let me tell you. Um. But hey, if I find a gem, I'm a definitely yeah, ape in. But ordinals is killing it like anything. Let me see. Oh, Coinbase. Oh boy, it's all gonna happen, Teddy. It's all gonna happen. And you know what's important? It's a link, which I think it's chain link. Is link? What the heck? Link USD. This makes no sense here. Why does it say link? Link is chain link. Wait, I was on ordinals, right? Yeah, I'm on ordinals. I'm looking at, is this a bug? 1452. All right, refresh. What happened, Coin Market Cap? Keep up. There we go. I'm like, what the heck was going on there? I'm faster than the actual thing. Legendary Vern, what up, brother? Tell me about it. Yo, what is happening, Legendary Vern? Nice to see you, buddy. Always a pleasure. I'm trying to figure out what the heck is happening with MMAI, but really looking at the markets where we were positioning ourselves of when to take profits and when to really get into it. And then we also had a small conversation about my hair. Should I get a haircut? Or keep it long because I kind of like the longer hair, but you know everyone's got issues. It's it's unprofessional, I guess. It's fine. It's fine. You'll live. You'll live. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, and then I had the uh, heat map uh, update on me. They took liquidity. Yeah, how much liquidity did they take? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this, Burn? Why are they doing this to us? You got to fill us in, bro. Let me know if you want to jump on. We can inform the goons. I can't believe this. Uh, yeah, almost everything else looks familiar. Chainlink is starting to go down, it looks like. But, yeah, we'll see. I gave $99 to an employee last year. To an employee last year. December, it's now 260 bucks. 85 ETH pulled in LP. Did they say what it was for? Did they even inform the community? Wait, so there's um, influencers fighting. Wait, we need to look at MMAI. And guys, while looking at this, I'm going to flip over to the news. And, you know, we're getting real-time news. So, you know, this is the best place. <laughs> I really don't know. But if you look at the contract, you'll see it in PTC, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Got you, got you. Let me check it out. Dex tools. Uh, MMAI. When did this happen? Oh, this was a year ago. I think they say they are now working on a blockchain. Oh, is that why they took the money? Okay, yeah, so big dump there. Liquidity is now 245K. Your market cap is under a million. You're at 1K holders. Oh, man. These are some... You want these numbers to be much different, but I guess uh, this... Okay, where do I get the freaking contract now? Give me contract. Okay, here, contract. Pew. They moved everything. 
I don't even use Dex tools anymore. I'm on Dex screener now. This feels so weird, right? Uh, let me see. So they did execute sell to Uniswap. Okay, interesting. Wait, do they have a function that sell to Uniswap? I'm not in the project I just heard. What up, Coochie Boy? Do they have a function? So no, they don't. So what the heck was that? Oh, that oh, they must have a Uniswap V3 something. Oh boy. Phil quote ETH. Yeah, this is some other router that's doing it. Okay, there we go. Trying to stay informed. All right. Is there an actual when did they do this? Two days ago? When did they do this? Do we know when LP was removed? Swap exact tokens for token fee on transferring tokens. What the hell are they doing here? Click the contract. Wait, why click the contract? Oh, no, look at the ETH contract. Yeah, Legendary Vern is former Saitama Vern or Crypto Vern. Wait, I just want to find the uh, removal, right? That's all. Uniswap. Uh, what is going on here? I just want to find the contract. All right. Am I still? Am I at a monkey eye? Yeah. Did it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to see where exactly. Phil, quote, eat the token. That's also an interesting one, but I think that's normal. I'm on 2-bit profile. I'm on my 2-bit profile. Little... Oh, this is what you use for 2-bit when you go on there? Wait, I actually can't find what page they removed it. Was the um, removal a couple days ago, or was it like within these last two days? Do you know? You guys follow this, so you would know more than me. You said to click on the contract. Read the contract. Bum, 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 bum. Uniswap router, the chain can change the router. Derek can read the router, okay. Migrate bridge, interesting. Set global limit. Oh, wait. I know this contract. Three days ago, I just randomly saw it. It's the cells to Uniswaps. It is the cells to Uniswaps. But what's weird is why don't I see how did they do that cell without, like, there's no removal of LP in here. So they had to literally do it from a, wait, let me go back in here. I want to leave that up also. So it was the cells to Uniswap. So let's go back to the cell two days ago. Oh, I guess it wasn't two days ago. It was recently, right? Um, these ones? Cell to Uniswap. Uniswap V2 MMAI. Now how much was this? This was like 0. 0.05 ETH. What? It's not this. Get out of here. What is this exchange proxy? I've just been DCing into BTC, ETH, and INJ. It's all, it's all I own nowadays. It makes life much simpler. I'll wait for an actual bull run for meme coin gambling. Yeah, understandable, bro. I feel the same way. I completely feel the same way. I can totally understand that. So I am, wait, the other way I know is we can find out who the owner of this contract is. Contract creator. Okay, here we go. Remove LP. We're not crazy. We're not crazy. I was looking for it in the actual contract. Here is the remove LP. So let's go see. 
how much LP they actually removed. Okay, so they actually removed 171,000. Uh, 175k basically right holy crap holy crap why'd they remove this that's a lot okay so they removed it and they transferred it 80.5 ETH. Okay, wait. I, this is the one. So they did a test transfer at first. They're like, before I send the full amount, let's do a small amount. <laughs> and then they did the full amount. Oh, my God. This is wild. This is wild. Uh, what? What? Okay, so let's go check out this wallet. What did this? Oh, no. Oh, no. Why would they do this? Dude, literally 80 ETH into Coinbase, bro. Why would you go into Coinbase? You were going to get taxed like anything. Welcome to the new tax level. Okay, here is my regular YouTube. There he is. What's going on? What's going on? Nice to see you, Vern. I just found it. I got it. I went into the contract creator. I was like, dude, what the hell? I, I've been smoking that like button too much or something. I can't. I can't find the remove LP. Uh, but luckily, I found it, and it looks fine. Uh, I mean, I, now I see it, and it looks scary. It's horrible. This is a horrible thing to do uh, to a community. But I really hope there is true uh, reasonings behind it, and they continue to uh, pump. I've heard some interesting things about MMAI, so this is definitely uh, an interesting thing. So how often have they done this is now my next uh question so remove lp they did it three days ago and the last time they did it almost less than a year ago about nine months ago how much did they remove then nine months ago they removed them <laughs> stay strong teddy stay strong for the boys stay strong for the boys Bros, they removed a million dollars nine months ago, and now they removed 180k. 487 ETH was transferred out. Oh my god, if this goes into freaking Coinbase, I'm just gonna cry. Uh, let's see, okay, so it was given to this wallet. Wait, it was given back to the same wallet? No, it was given back to this. So is there 400? Oh, my God. There's a 487 transaction in here. We just haven't seen all the records. Here it is. Here it is. I <laughs> went into Coinbase. Oh, my God. These guys are freaking idiots. Why would you do this? Why would you put it into Coinbase? Why are you trying to cash out? I would, I would have even brought it into, like, a non-KYC. And slowly transferred it out, right? Isn't that the proper way to do this? Now it's like, unless they really are using it for legitimate reasons. Uh, man, I hope it's for the good. But hey, it's not my business. Smart man. <laughs> Big A. Yeah, dude. Big A Armory smart. Said going to blockchain, but it's not their fault. Money. They on Omar asked for 15k of liquidity, and these guys are talking taking millions. Yeah, I just found millions a million dollars nine months ago. The blockchain doesn't lie. This literally happened. I am I you know I like to validate my facts before I actually see I actually uh, speak on it. But yeah, this is what I'm seeing. MMAI took out 487 ETH. Removed LP. They took out 487 ETH. I'm trying to see what else have they done. But dude, this is a um, gotta tell you the contract real good <laughs> that they able to interact with it this much. I don't see any other removal here. Let me see removal. Sorry, I have gamer eyes, so I can see faster than you. Just kidding, uh, but not really. I really do. My wife hates when I when I do online shopping. It's like, ah, oh, you're scrolling too fast. I'm like, I can I already know. I already know what I want. Okay, so they only removed LP two times. 
So it's still a little bit weird because now you have a million dollars out in LP plus 175K out and you're building a blockchain. So a million dollars, nine months. Did What happened with the million dollars in nine months? What was that used for? I'd send that shit to a BTC ATM. Yeah, F, F Joe, F Joe TV. Exactly. This is not the way to do it. Like, I, I feel like, you know, Coinbase reports everything. <laughs> So if you if if you're gonna use it, which I use Coinbase, I'm I'm 100% legitimate, so I don't have any issues with that. Um, but yeah, maybe they're being legitimate too, and we're just overthinking it. You gotta also give them benefit of the doubt. You know, I haven't truly paid attention to the community, but the community knows more about this than me. It does not cost that much for a blockchain, FY. Where me and you both know how much it costs for a blockchain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're we're building a quantum blockchain it's going to be the next greatest thing i can already see it happening buddy um the only way a blockchain costs that much is if it's quantum i feel but all right let's see let's see what ends up happening here um overall i think you are at a bottom on this chart right yeah so you're definitely uh you've been hurt mmai and you'll come back, and it'll be hope, hopefully great. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't quote me on this. Oh, man, yeah. You're on the lower Bollinger Band, too. Bollinger Bands are widened a lot because of this drop. <laughs> the drops happened. <sighs> well, they have utility, so at some point, they got to work. It's got to work out. That's why I stepped away from a lot of people. But how is there money to pull? Well, right now there's no money to pull. They already pulled a million out, and then this LP was probably around uh, 500k, and then they pulled out another 100 or around 400k. They pulled out another 175k. Dude, if they actually turn around and and deliver, I feel, I feel, you know, that's fine. And if some of that 175k is used for other reasons as long as you get a blockchain out of it but then the end goal always for me is how do you tie the blockchain to the metaverse to all these things you know i really want to understand how they're going to do that entire ecosystem i just hate when it damages the reputation of influencers that were in the dark dude i completely understand i completely understand that these these types of defi tokens can damage influencer reputations and they disappear and I'm still here, boys. I went through all of this. You guys know we are the true ones. We are still here. We're still learning. And we are trying to make money in crypto. I've never given up on the goons. And we're going to continue to ensure uh, we're making good decisions and knowledgeable decisions when considering looking at crypto. So that's really what it comes down for me. I ain't doing this for only the goons, but I'm also doing it for myself because I have bags in crypto i have btc i have eth i have crow i have literally everything we talk about um and you guys have seen my dgen wallets we have dgen a bunch of times now i think we're at like 0 0.05 on our dgen wallet but regardless this is what we do so it's fine let's see uh what mmai ends up uh doing so i know we're on the new segment we're on a little of a uh <laughs> little goon time there I do want to bring it back. So Roblox CEO is allowing NFTs. This is this is basically what's been hinted at. Great to see. Roblox is a game that many, many of these new gens are playing, guys. The kids love Roblox. They love Minecraft. Um, getting that NFT adoption, I think, is going to be good for the NFT community. Right now, they are at a low. They're like, what, 99% down from when they... <laughs> Uh, had their bull run so as as they're in that bear market and you see other um companies still building it's a good sign for crypto all around and the nft market space so i'm quite happy to uh read this and i hope it continues uh for the nft space because nfts if they come back they could be uh worthwhile because especially my wag me nfts i still got those uh, that's why I had to stop, bro, before I end up at somebody's house. Yep, yep. 
You don't want to have three plays left in this part of the crypto space. After that, I'm done. That's it, dude. And if those plays don't work out, that's it. I'm on my main uh, ETH BTC. That's it. And, you know, that's where it's going to be. Chaka Crypto, what's going on, buddy? We were just discussing uh, right before uh, you came in here, MMAI and what's going on with the uh, project and what they've done. Uh, we really drilled down into the contract of MMAI. I was um, having some trouble there finding the removal of the LP. Then I went to the owner uh, wallet and I found it. And it's uh, quite interesting. It's an uh, interesting uh, removal and the removal from nine months ago also uh, with the million and where they currently sit. And I'm hoping good things are happening as they go. BTC to 70K would be amazing. What happens first? I think BTC to 70k would happen first a 2x on btc would happen first over a 2x on ethereum yes i will double check i will double check i could be wrong i still got my shinja let's go dude that's good that's good i hear shinja is also doing um what shinja doing uh community Based project and they have LP to launch or something. So I hear that one's also coming back. Same here. Yep, that's it. Big A. I think eat first. You think eat first? Okay. I think uh, I will. We'll check in the in the charts. But uh, good thing for Ethereum there. Other ones I had is Ripple could see an unforeseen market twist. I do believe um, the Ripple army is going to start hitting on the golden cross that formed on Ripple earlier this week. Um, I think we're seeing some consolidation here uh, happening throughout the market, but the levels haven't dropped drastically. They're still above our target support levels, which still indicates potential bullish sentiment continuing um, at this point. Um, the main thing uh, I took away from this article, and by the way, uh, this scapes mania is all like uh, marketing or something i don't i think it's paid marketing yeah sponsored article by them the main takeaway for me was hey uh is ripple gonna have another um crazy run and what what's interesting is they said traditionally ripple has an average run of 71 percent right and right now at 22 percent and it's November. So if we know traditionally 71% return, are we going to have a crazy boom uh, to get to the other 50% up? So I thought that was an interesting takeaway. I like uh, when you look at the historical trends to try and predict future trends. So big fan of that. Hey, Chaka Crypto. Hey. Okay, Big A, we'll bet $10 of BTC. Yeah, we got to check that out. Um, the other one was top five meme coins, uh, especially for Coochie Boy. I figured this would be good. So one of the ones uh, Coochie Boy always tries to uh, do futures and futures trading, especially on the DeFi meme coins. Corgi AI was one that uh, this article brought up. Bonk, we've heard of. Bonk was even trending um, on our uh, trending. Uh, let me see. Is it still here? Uh, yep. So right here, 60% up. It's number two. So bonk uh, makes sense to me. And the other one we've we've recently looked at is meme coins. So it's a new meme coin on the block. We've we've heard of it. Um, haven't truly gotten into it. To, you know, it's like I'm like it's like every other meme coin. It's it's got it's gonna rally and it's gonna dump. So hey, Lair, nice to see you, buddy. Vernon, friends, what up? What's the chances of FTX restarting? You tell me, FTT token champion there. You tell me. Um, so as I was saying, so meme coin, bonk, and Corgi AI. So big push yet again to the dog tokens. And they do hit on Dogecoin, SHIB, and Pepe. And you guys know how we feel about that. Um, the big win today for Newswise was Ethereum had a big when they had BlackRock um, put in a registration to have a spot ETF. And as soon as that happened, Ethereum went from like 1900 to 2100. So it was a great uh, win all around. Very glad to see uh, that for Ethereum. And I hope uh, that trend continues um, where we will eventually see in January or by January, end of January, 
2024 uh, potential approvals for both the Bitcoin ETF as well as the Ethereum ETF. Um, fingers crossed, but <laughs> anything can happen. Uh, my main thing was we're showing that the average Joe, even though they're not into crypto, they they are, you know. So Google searches for buy Ethereum and buy ETH trended, buy Bitcoin trended. So people trying to get in, I think it is getting noticed. Hey, maybe I should get in. Maybe that one guy was right. Any BlackRock crypto? I'm not sure. No BlackRock cryptos yet. They may stay do a stable coin, though. <laughs> um, I think we see a $10 FTT soon. Bro, don't even joke like that. Don't even joke like that. Could you imagine? Right after Gary Gensler says, yeah, FTX token, FTX exchange can come back under new leadership. <laughs> Boom, FTT to $10. I would cry. I would legit cry. <laughs> Why didn't I get in? Why didn't I listen to Coochie Boy? Oh, my God. Uh, okay, that's literally all I had for news, guys. I do want to move on to the chats. And as a friendly reminder, we did uh, remove, or not remove, we did put merge together. Uh, the What's New and Goon Time into one segment, we just called Goon Time. The uh, menu hasn't been updated, but it will be updated soon, and we will go right to Goon Time. So don't go, Teddy, you still have two more segments. Don't just sign off. Don't worry, boys. We got you. We got charts, and things are going to happen. So we left yesterday with Coochie Boy telling us, hey, go check out Cake. Um, and Cake did fairly well from when Coochie Boy told us to check it out. Um, and now it's done that retracement alongside the market. So we are keeping our eyes wide open to ensure we're not getting hit with anything drastic here. So I said, what's important is the level of support that we were going to do the pullback to. We had a great day. We had a very um, good, positive breakthrough. That level of resistance, the Fib retracement put at 37,148. We were so close to 38K. And really the next level being 39. But the main takeaway for me is that 0.618 level. We're currently up uh, in this trend. So DB from Akela Traders, he's informed us about the importance of the 0.618 level. We're still above the 0.618 level. Keep in mind, for me, when I get nervous, is if we drop below 35.291 and the 100% confirmation, oh, things are going bad, is we drop below 35K. Um, other than that, most of the sentiment appears still to be bullish. This could be one of those three-month-long positions. Keep in mind, guys, it's been a long time. It's been a long, long time, trust me, um, since we've seen that that position. So um, now you go, hey, what's going to happen first, 70K BTC or 4K Ethereum? Technically, in, in just this FIB retracement alone, you're at 42K. Right, so you're already making good headway up to that 2x. While we look at Ethereum's chart, even with um, the great bull run, you're only at 2,500. You know, so the correlation uh, between 42k and 2,500 is pretty close. It's pretty close. So when you pose the question, what's going to hit first? Uh, going back to FTX would would be like ever trusting Cliff Fetner ever again for anything. <laughs> you can't trust what? <laughs> oh my God. Lair, you're killing me, buddy. You're killing me. Uh, smoke that like button. Cody core. What's going on? A lot more people are aware of crypto nowadays versus 2020. Yep. But that awareness is unfortunately associated with bad news headlines for crypto. Absolutely big armory. And, and their loss is our potential win. But, you know, only time will tell. Only time will tell. Uh, the main thing is, uh, the question being, is 4K Ethereum going to hit or is uh, BTC going to hit 70K? You know, when it comes down to BTC, you really got 30K more to go. When it comes down to Ethereum, even on that bull run, 2,500, you have 1,500 to go how much longer is a 1500 pump going to take ethereum versus btc and btc moves in the thousands 
right? So that's where my bullish sentiment goes more towards BTC. Um, even with the fib retracement, I feel like, dude, 36K to 42K, that's a big, big jump. You know, that's thousands of dollars going into this. And that thousands of dollars adds up real quick because when that true institutional money comes in and we're talking about BTC's market cap being higher than the market cap of Bank of America. And guess what, guys? BTC's market cap is currently higher than Bank of America's. So <laughs> when that money comes in, what's going to go? That's the real question. Regardless, it'll be a good bullish sentiment for both Ethereum and BTC. Um, and that correlation is always going to be there with that dominance chart, which is why we look at the heat maps. This is exactly why we want to keep ourselves informed. So I'm still quite bullish on both uh, BTC and Ethereum. No real signal of uh, uh, a bearish, bearish sign coming in. My real... Uh, takeaway for today is going to be we need to continue driving uh the price higher and higher making those higher highs and uh, higher lows so that is the end goal there so i did want to talk about bnb we finally broke through 251 again with this is now hopefully we're going to close out the day uh today brand new day above uh 251 and that'll really help drive us into that 300 dollar um range and you see how nicely the fib retracement lines up so 300 will be my next uh level of support if 260 is broken so uh, sorry i said support resistance if 260 is broken truth truth wait what's the truth btc or ethereum i also think btc hit 70k first only because the attention that BTC ETFs are receiving from that big money in that financial sector. That's exactly right. That's exactly um, why I feel when that institutional money comes in, it's going to go help drive BTC's price. And that moving up in that thousands is going to happen way quicker than Ethereum's institutional money going in. But don't get me wrong. Most analysts, when Ethereum first came out, put Ethereum at like 15K. You know, so that's not that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. all right, let me check out XRP. XRP had a little bit of a retracement. We're still above the 0.618 level, but it's really got to bounce off, which it did, and get back up into that driving position. We know we got that uh, golden cross situation that happened. Uh, we got to keep an eye on uh, how this goes because now Indian Oscillator does appear to be narrowing. So I'm keeping an eye on XRP. So if you... Had an opportunity where you took profits. Congratulations, because we're definitely on a small retracement before the next leg up. So I want to talk Shiba, Doge, Pepe. Right now, Pepe, for me, doing fairly okay. Uh, I, and you guys heard me talk about this yesterday where we're looking at Pepe's uh, bullish trend. And I said, hey, that consolidation that it had and the push up could be what it needs to get to five zeros one five once it gets to uh five zeros one five that really puts it down to can it get back up to the all-time high here at four zeros four five but before that even consideration we know the market cap of pepe we know the devs are up. We know there's no utility. We know it's completely community driven and it's ETH paired, right? So as uh, USDT paired, it's literally um, the community that is driving this project. And when we have that bullet sentiment and the money coming back in, they're putting it in one of these three uh, <laughs> meme coins. So Pepe has been doing fairly well. I feel in the grand scheme and long term things, Pepe is going to be here. Um, and if that all-time high hits, you have more excess on Pepe than Shiba Inu and Dogecoin just because the market cap is nowhere close to Dogecoin's or Shiba Inu's market cap. So that question was posed to me. I went back. I thought about it. I would I would consider Pepe over Doge and Shiba. I know people are going to hate me for that. But the only reason I'm saying that is considering market cap and the amount of excess and profits I could potentially take. In the grand scheme of things, you guys know, I've been doing that futures trading um, or was doing that futures trading alongside Gucci Boy and John Crispala. It, it really comes down to market sentiment now for me. Hey, is the market feeling bullish or bearish? 
and that's how I'm getting in. But it, but when I went back, I thought about it. I guess Pepe would really be uh, the meme coin that I would do. Uh, crow, crow, crow. Look at this almost every day. I need another all time uh, high breakthrough so that way we feel very bullish even more about crow. But this is exactly uh, a positive thing for crow almost 30% up overall from that five cent mark. This is just amazing, guys. Glad to see. And I do want to talk about link. Many of the goons are in link, and this is how nicely the chart pairs up. So we did break that 15 dollar mark now we started a new day we need to we need to end the day above all the candles are doing the right things we're getting the higher highs higher lows now it's the start of the new day we really need to break to 17 if this does not happen i do expect a small retracement to happen uh before the next leg up let me see litecoin many of you guys have told me litecoin and btc are correlated okay that's fine um litecoin seems okay to me Triple G put a level of support at 72.89. We're at 74? 74.17. I mean, it's actually the red one, sorry. 74.05. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see. All right. That's basically what I had for the charts. I'm going to flip over here to Goon Time. Goon Time is your time. Shout out any charts, anything you want my opinion on. I will tell you what I feel, um, and really, we can get right into it. But while we're doing that, and while I let the chat do that, I do want to remind you guys, please go check out my other channel, Explore the Weird. There are some crazy things happening there as well. Almost every day, we have been posting, um, and the Goon Gang is growing strong over there as well. Uh, we just got another video up um for tiktoks just four minutes ago and explore the weird this channel also got monetized so we're growing quite well guys so i'm quite happy to see uh the growth on both channels and you guys know without the goon gang i wouldn't even be here it's that love and support that the goon gang provides that we're able to do all the crazy things we do and now we're exploring the crazy side of uh tiktoks and stuff and it's uh fun okay check ftt we'll check ftt let me do it <laughs> ftt dun, 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 dun. dude remember remember 22 dollars <laughs> remember 20 28 dollars 24 dollars oh my god remember what could have been damn it sbf look what you did now we're trading on mere dollars bros so once uh, FTT comes back, yeah, I guess two dollars seventy-two cents. Yeah, they've they've actually kept it above a dollar. Wow. Why? Why, dude? Actually, Indian Indian oscillator uh, long position came in. Indian oscillator still remains bearish, even though it's narrowing. If this crosses over, I think that's it. You take off. Yeah, maybe, dude. Gucci boy, you may be on to something, buddy. You may be on to something. What's happening? What's happening here? Dude, that is amazing. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. I'm a chart of fib retracement on the last uh the last high and the last low in the current segment time frame. And that puts this above holy shit. Holy shit. You're past the fib retracement. You're in a bullish trend, like a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Because this is from the last trend. All right. If we move it to the new before the current trend, you're doing great. All right, move it up. Move it on up. Teddy, move it on up. All right. So now it don't look so good. So yeah, we're at the current price. Two four five level of support point six one eight, dude. If it falls below a dollar ninety nine or dollar ninety two, call it. I, I I think that's it. Check optimism. I shall. I think I had optimism on here. No, I do not. Let me see. Optimism. 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 Is it only on Mexi? Really? Okay, interesting. Oh, this is Optimus. That's not Optimism. 
Don't do this to me. Dunism. Done. Coinbase. There we go. Give it to me. Give it to me. Dollar seventy-five. You're on a long position that came in in October. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Indian oscillator is nice and wide. Let me put a fib retracement on here. We can see how crazy, how crazy we got. All right, so in this last, in this before takeoff, I'm going to the last high, and then last low. Yeah, that still puts you over the 1.618 level. So if true bull run, you're almost at two dollars forty-one cents. That's not bad. That's not bad. Optimism seems fairly bullish. I see all buy signals across the day. Uh, good evening. Hey, Renga Apes Club. What's going on, buddy? I've been seeing your Twitter posts sometimes. It was like, ah, Renga Ape Clubs hasn't checked in in a long time. Thanks for checking in. How are things? Uh, look at the daily on my boy Grok. All right, let's check out Grok. Grok, we're going to make it all back. Oh, my God, dude. Amazing. Amazing. You're on like super bullish sentiment here. Though though the four hours says no go. Four hours says no go. Let me change this to uh four hour. Here we go. Yeah. You you are having a great day, aren't you? <laughs> you got the long position in the hour too. Hell yeah, thanks, dude. Of course, of course. I'm not that active on uh X, but the guys that I do keep track of, I will be like, ah, I know this one. <laughs> And you guys are super active everywhere. The goons really are. How are things, friend guy? Everything going good? You caught us at the last segment, buddy. What's going on? How are things? I won't be back again till Monday. That's when I come back, 8, 15 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you check in because we miss you. We miss ya. Uh, at least I do. I like to know what's going on with everybody. We had Wesley check in today in a long time. Nice to see Wesley, too. Dude, I know, I know, I know, you know. I don't even have to tell you. You already know. You already know what it is. Are we, are you up? Are, is, are things going well? Let me see. Goon time. Just checking. I didn't miss anything. It's good grinding. Okay, good. Yeah, I was even talking about the NFT space and how Roblox is uh, now integrating NFTs into their platform. So it's like, dude, NFTs are still being built. You know, utilities being built for NFTs even in this uh, bearish trend for the NFT market. So it's going to be interesting if the NFT market also somehow gets a bullish trend back uh, alongside it. I think that would be very good. Uh -huh. Gordon Goner has been sweeping. The BAYC finder? Oh, yeah. I mean, the B BAYC also had the uh, scare with the NFT event. Ape Fest in Hong Kong, where like 15 people went blind and they tried to play it off as like, nah, our lighting was fine. And I was like, wait, did anyone else see this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that guy's uh, making good money. Makes sense. All right, guys. I think that is it. I am done for today. I will see you guys again Monday, 8 15 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you smoke that like button. On the way out, I will catch you guys next time. Stay safe, stay strong, and most importantly, <laughs> don't be a hero. Just don't do it. Don't get wrapped up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Get informed, get informed.